Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a basic problem based on ratio. So as you can see, the question is, we are talking about two persons A and B and their ratios and the ratio of incomes is 7 is to 3. So we will write it as A ratio B having their ratios of income as 7 ratio 3. And the ratio of their expenditures is the ratio of their expenditures is 5 ratio 2. Now, I hope you know the relation between income expenditure and saving, right? Because if both of them save rupees 300 each, why I am talking about the relation between income expenditure and saving? Because the next sentence says both of them save rupees 300 each. That means the saving done by A is rupees 300 and the saving done by B is also rupees 300. So the savings are same. So the savings are same. If the savings are not same, what, what can be done? That we will discuss in the next lecture, in the next video. Right? So the ratio of their incomes is 7 is to 3. The ratio of their expenditures is 5 ratio 2. These are not actual incomes. They are represent. They are, 7 is not the actual income. It is the representative in form of ratio. Right? I hope you know this. Now, Difference of income and expenditure is known as saving, right? Difference of income and expenditure is known as saving and savings are equal. So the difference of income and expenditure should also be equal. I repeat, please be careful. Difference of income and expenditure is known as saving and savings are same. So the difference of income and expenditure should also be same. So the difference between 7 and 5, the difference between 3 and 2 in terms of ratio should be same, should be same. It is not same, it should be same. So, we will make it same. Look at the technique. What is the difference between 7 and 3? It is 4. What is the difference between 5 and 2? It is 3. Now, let us cross multiply. By cross multiplication, we get new ratios. We multiply this, the terms of this ratio by 4. We multiply the terms of this ratio by 3. We get the new ratio. Let us see. The new ratio will be 20 ratio 8. And here the new ratio will be 21 ratio 9. Right? So, here is the new ratio. Now, as you can see, how much does A earn 21 in terms of ratio. Now, how much does A spend in terms of ratio? It is 20. A earns 21 in terms of ratio. A spends 20 in terms of ratio. So, A saves rupee 1 in terms of ratio. Not rupee 1, it is one part in the terms of ratio. Similarly with B. <coughs> B earns 9 in terms of ratio. B spends 8 in terms of ratio. B, B saves 1 in terms of ratio. So, now with this new ratio, the difference between income and expenditure have been equal. They have become equal, right? Now, I can easily say that one part of ratio is equivalent to 300. Because in terms of ratio, income is 21, expenditure is 20. So, what is saving? 1. Actual saving? 300. So, 1 is representing 300. Similarly with B, 9 and 8, the difference is 1 in terms of ratio. It is equal to 300. So, 1 is equal to 300. Now, if 1 is equal to 300, you can multiply all the terms of the ratio by 300 and get the actual value. Actual value. Now, the question is what is the income of A? Income of A in terms of ratio is 21. If 1 is 300, 21 has to be 6300. So, here is the answer. So, I hope this problem is clear to you. This was very basic problem based on ratio and the concept was based on income expenditure and saving. I repeat, the difference between income and expenditure is known as saving and savings were equal. So, difference have to be equal. Ha, if the difference is not, uh, the savings are not equal, there is another method we will discuss in the next video. Right? So, hopefully you are okay with it and uh, next time we will discuss some another problems. Thank you very much.